Hey, Nexus fans, it's your boy, Jose, bringing you a Narukami Duck... Wait, that's not right. Kagura Duck Profile. That bit was cancer. Anyways, let's... Uh, yeah, Kagura. Fun fact, this was the first clan I ever, quote-unquote, built. But, uh... Yeah, I, all I had was a TD and some extra cards. Anyways, let's continue with the deck profile. None of you give a shit. Skill, uh, Forerunner. It's, ah, Lizard Soldier Conroe. Forerunner skill that all starters have, except standard ones. Skill, second skill is, uh, Act, Rear, Unrear Guard Circle Counter Blasts. One, retire this unit, search your deck for a grade one or lower, add it to hand, and then shuffle your deck. So, use this to search out, ideally, your... Uh, grade 1 Conra, who in turn will search out an Overlord. Or you can use this to search out your, if you have a Conra in hand already, a PG. What's the other thing? Uh, Stride Fodder. Or a spicy card that I'm going to show uh, in a bit. Next we run for a standard Dragonic Overlord. Uh, this video isn't going to be 50 minutes long like Richard's deck profile because I'm not explaining everything since I assume he's going to be uploading this one after the standard deck profile because that makes a lot more sense than the other way around, right? So, yeah, just four standard Dragonic Overlord. You already know what to do. If not, pause the video and read it. Next we run three Dragonic Overlord of the Destiny or Stride. Target, I guess you're you're gonna be on this a bit. I don't know. I'm mostly when I play it, I'm on regular Dragonic Overlord, just because of the Force Gifts and 13k base, cause that's nice. Next, we run our Grave Twos for Dragonite Nahalem. He good snipes back row units like starters, which is the main thing of this deck. It's built specifically. Oh, I'll explain it later. You'll see soon enough. Uh, four Berserk Dragon again, snipe, uh, grade some things. Okay, martial arts, but you know, good. And two Emperor Dragon Knight Nahalem. Next, we run four bar, more retire, uh, shit. For stride fodders, I'm gonna slow down right now because we need that ad revenue. If you made it this far into the video, comment how your day was. I'm really curious and want to know. Thank you for your time. If you if it's been good, good on you. If it's been bad, you know what? It'll get better. I hope it does get better for you guys. Yeah, let's just let the timer go to 3 minutes and 30 seconds before I show the next card. Maximize that ad revenue. There we go. Lizard Soldier Conroe. Skill is, uh, choose a grade 3 from your hand and reveal it. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one grade 3 uh, card with Overlord in its card name. Reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck, choose a card from your hand, and discard it. So yeah, search out an Overlord, discard an Overlord usually. But I don't know if I'd do that in this deck, because I don't run the Doombringer High Flame. Uh, but maybe for Root, root Flare, I think? Defeat Flare? Yeah, Defeat Flare. I'll use it for that. Those are the last of my grade ones. Now we move on to the grade zeros and what makes this deck semi-spice. I'm running four Fright Lock. Skill is put on rear guard circle, put this unit into your soul, choose one of your opponent's grade zero rear guards, and retire it. Okay, so like, this is, I'm only running this because I'm, I want to fuck with Richard, I want to fuck with Alan, I want to fuck with people that use uh, premium shit, like premium royals, because just call this or use bar. Or use Nahalem, or use Berserk Dragon. Retire their Bark Gall, cause fuck that card. I am not giving them Soul for Soul Saver Dragon. All right, like, oh, this 
is just meant to fuck with them. I love Frightlock. I wish he was a grade one. Next, we run four wi uh, draw PG Wyvern Guard Bari. Throw it back to when it was $50. $50. <laughs> No, it's not that much. $30. $30 PG. You G babies don't know this. Well, this is. Unless it's. Ezra's. Or. Whatever the fuck the Gear Chronicle one was. But imagine having to pay $50 for vanilla. $30 for a vanilla PG. That is sad. Anyways, for, uh, trigger lineup was for Rashakanaklaka. Four embodiment of uh, spear tar with a shitty flavor text. Pierce them all instead of you know penetrate. Uh, Richard, please base boost when I say penetrate. And okay, yeah. Anyways, final ones for Tara. Her skill is uh, bind this face up and choose another card with uh, he another heal trigger. From your drops and then bind it face up when it's discarded for the cost of calling a G Guardian. Pay the cost if you do counter charge one or soul charge one. I like it because it gives you soul that you kind of need for Bar and uh, the Berserk Dragon. Even though Frightlock gives you the soul. And then unflips are always nice. Some Richard was saying, oh, you're going to be running the. Vanilla PGs from the new set because of the plus 10k, but honestly, that I don't think that really matters all that much now. And in this deck, at least, because I'm going to be putting all the force markers on my Vanguard, anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm running. If you guys, meh, I don't care. But yeah, I really don't care about the extra 10k because I'm going to be discarding it for G Guardians anyway. Speaking of G units. I'm running, I did not sort these out, so let's just wing it. Four Flare Arms Ziegenberg. This is my main uh, stride target. Because I'm going to be putting all the Force Markers on my Vanguard, and this is a Restander, it's going to be doing a lot of, not a lot of damage, it's going to be hitting for high fucking numbers. And my skill is Blaze. So yeah, Blaze. Is he's blazing hashtag four twenty? <laughs> is that joke funny? Anyways, skill soul blast one. Choose a face down card. Rem choose a face down card with the same name as this from your G zone. Turn it face up. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. I never use this skill at all because my first stride is usually gonna be a a send grave dragon, which I'll show after this. So yeah, like I don't need to get to that. And that one flips up, flips shit too, so, yeah. Alright, so the second skill is the good skill. Once per turn, GB3 counterblast. And choose the same number of cards from your... Same number of cards from your hand as the same number of your opponent's rear guards and discard them. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If this unit was blazing, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit and it gains... Gets drive minus two, so if you're, you nuke your opponent's field, free restand. It's pretty cool. I love it. Uh, next, when a send grave dragon, your first stride. <sighs> yeah, let that marker hit nine minutes. And skill is counter blast one. Choose a face down card from your Jesus and turn it face up. Until the end of this, until the end of, until end of turn, this unit gets red text, auto vanguard circle when blazing. Oh, sorry, glass is fogged up. When blazing, uh, draw a card, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Like it. it, gives you that draw. Next, we run two Dragonic Overlord, the Purge. Skill is once per turn, choose a face down card from your G zone, turn it face up, and choose an Overlord in your hand and shove it into the soul. If the number of cards in your opponent's damage zone is four or less, choose one of your opponent's rear, ah, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage to them, but that uh, effects of the trigger are nullified. 
So yeah, just give them that extra damage. I um, I really don't use the skill all that, that much, or as much as I should, because uh, I mostly use it for its GB3, which is, this unit has the same number of drive as uh, the number of cards in your opponent's damage zone. So yeah, shit man, get you that quintet, quintet drive, pentuple drive, cinco drive. I don't know any other way to say five. But yeah, just one GB8. Um, what the fuck does it do? I never go into it. Uh, when this unit attacks a vanguard, ooh, I moved my. There we go. When this unit attacks a vanguard, retire all my. This thing is showing. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. When this unit attacks a vanguard, retire all of your opponent's rear guards and. All of your rear guards gain plus 10k until the end of the turn. If three or more units were retired, this unit gets plus 10k and an extra crit until the end of the turn. So, yeah, GB8 is fun. Next, we run three Dragonic Overlord of the Ace because of the once per turn ruling change. So, if you get rushed, uh, you can just use this skill twice and he'll actually gain both the effects. So, he can restand twice. And that's not tastic. <laughs> Next, uh, oh, we're at Gene Guards. Surprisingly. Well, yeah, never mind. Not surprisingly, because uh, I'm running two Denial Griffin, one of the best G Guards in the game, unless your opponent has resist, in which case you fucking kill yourself, because life is terrible. Next, we run to Absalom. Skrill is when it's placed on Guardian Circle during the battle that your vanguard was attacked by your opponent's vanguard. You may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gains plus 10k until the end of the battle for each of your opponent's open rearguard circles. So, yeah. Gains a shit ton of guard, but sadly does not work with rearguards. Which, is it important? I don't know anymore. I don't play standard. I mean, premium. Sorry. I'm recording this at like 2 a.m. Because everyone's asleep and they won't hear me autistically screech about card games. Anyways, final card of Destiny. Uh, uh what the fuck? Focus! Thank you. Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Defeat Flare Dragon. That's a mouthful. Skill is choose a choose counter blast one, choose two grade three or greater flame dragons from your drop zone and put them into the bottom of your deck in any order. When this unit is placed on guard on a guardian circle during the battle that your vanguard with overlord and its card name was attacked by your opponent's vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do retire all of the opponent's rear guards in, in your in the back row. So if you're playing against a stupid uh, a play a royal player that's stupid. And they attack with their vanguard first for some reason. You get to kill off their fucking flogals. But yeah, that's basically it. I'll show my force markers once again. Since I'm only running four uh, overlords, I'm only running four force markers. So it's going to be Kai, the SCR. Tempest Bolt, the SP that I got a long time ago. My favorite card in the my favorite card honestly. Vanquisher Force Marker that I made customly. And the uh, I guess Aichi. Cause he's just a poor boy. He needs no sympathy. This deck profile's done for the most part. I told you it wasn't gonna be fifty minutes like Richards. Cause I don't explain shit cause reading is hard. Anyways, thanks for watching, so, uh, donate to our Patreon, uh, like us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, heart us on OkCupid, and that's basically it. I, hmm, I'm just gonna let this hit 15 minutes. I hope all of you have a great night. Make sure to drink plenty of water. I have been doing this because, uh, 
Uh, talking takes effort, I guess. Well, hit 15 minutes. Bye. Bye.